we've come to Mar shopping so that Fab can get this trimmed. I think I look fine. For Alexander's birthday party tomorrow. Not a good angle. We are on our way home from the mall. I actually did not get a chance to film anything because shopping for children with a baby in Primark is a lot. And the queue, I queued. So, okay. One great thing about Portugal is they have priority for pregnant people, people with children, uh, and the elderly. And we all know what a Primark queue looks like, especially in like prime Christmas lead up, you know. So, manic. I literally filled a full on big old basket from Primark. What? I'm finding it so hard to connect my thoughts to words. I'm going to blame it on mum brain. So, um, yeah, oh yeah, Fabio got a new haircut. Um, so yeah, Portugal has this priority for pregnant people, etc. And I'm in the queue, like sweating, so sweaty, because it's, it's cold in the morning, but come like now, it's 1.15, it's like 19 degrees, so it's not that cold. Uh, it's not cold. I got to that point where I completely plateaued in terms of I am wearing too many layers right now and nothing I could do. Literally had my big basket, Athena, the pram, get to, you know, the till thing and they're like number eight. And then I get number one is like, you could have just gone to the first till. Obviously in Portuguese, but I can figure it out. So she was like, yeah, the first till. And I can see the thing above the first till with the priority. At this point, it's already my turn. I'm sweaty, I've done the hockey, so yeah. Where I would have vlogged in all of this, I have no idea. I also would have looked like a mad woman. I accidentally, when I was with one hand, because I'm holding Athena, taking the you know shopping bag from the lady at the till, it was so heavy. My arms are so achy from yoga. My arm like buckled, the bag swung, and whacked this woman who was walking past the till. Yeah, anyway, so that was my experience in Mar. And then Fab came, we got sushi takeaway. Probably thinking, I'm sorry, did you just say you got sushi takeaway from a shopping center? But the food court at Mar is probably the best mall food court I've ever been to, wouldn't you say? Like it does a doo-doo on Westfield, any of these sort of new, uh, um, fancier food courts. I mean, this is pretty new, I'd say. Yeah, well, I don't think it's that old. Food, but yeah, it has like McDee's and all of that, but their sushi place is so good. It's freshly made there. Their Mexican place is really good. They have a falafel place that's really good. Um, yeah, they do homemade burgers, fresh pasta. It's honestly top tier. Top tier food court. Because I, I do love a food court. You know, like having all that variety there. Anyway, so we are en route home. Um, I have done my advent calendar for yesterday. It's on my story. I think I mentioned this already, but I'm just going to say it again, just in case. It's on my uh, stories on Instagram and then I save it to my highlights on my Instagram profile uh, so you can catch that there and yes that is it so I'm gonna head home eat some sushi do some laundry and then the school run pick up the car pick up the car we have to pick up the other car from Mercedes and I also need to edit I need to eat and edit yesterday's vlog ASAP so that's the plan so this is my sushi Fabio's was here, and I got tofu teriyaki noodles. So good. We just got Alexander to bed, made a cup of tea. After the school run, the evening was just manic, so I haven't vlogged anything, but from now. I went on like a mission to find a badge for Alexander, and the only card that had a badge that had five on it was pink. So I'm colouring it in blue with a permanent marker because 
I want to put it in his calendar for tomorrow. And I know that he like there's a badge in um one of our drawers that I saved from one of his previous birthdays, like I think three or something. And he loves it. He'll randomly go into the drawer and put it on. So I thought this would make for a cool thing to put in the calendar. However, yeah, they only had pink, so as much as I don't think he would have minded that much if it was pink. Sometimes he has moments where he's like, I don't like pink. So, better to just colour it in blue, which is what I'm doing. I think it works. Cute. It's kind of purpley, but... Yeah, and I'm going to go and wrap his presents now. And take y'all with me. I look like a toe, but it's fine. Alexander's presents are all wrapped and it's time for me to go to bed. I am pooped. It's midnight, we have to be up at like seven or something. So going to take my ass to bed. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.